Oh, draft these computers. They're so naughty and so complex. I could pinch them. What's up, everyone, and welcome. Today, we talk about GPU or VRAM malware. Cyber criminals are making strides towards attacks with malware that can execute code from the graphics processing unit of a compromised system. While the method is not new, and demo code has been published before, projects so far came from the academic world or were incomplete and unrefined. Earlier this month, the proof of concept was sold on a hacker forum, potentially marking cyber criminals' transition to a new sophisticated level of, uh, for their attacks. In a short post on a hacker forum, someone offered to sell the proof of concept for a technique they say keeps malicious code safe from security solutions scanning the system RAM. The seller provided only an overview of their method, saying that it uses the GPU memory buffer to store malicious code and to execute it from there. According to the advertiser, the project works only on Windows systems that support versions 2.0 and above of the OpenCL framework for executing code on various processors, GPUs included. The post also mentioned that the author tested the code on graphics cards from Intel, Radeon, and GeForce. The announcement appeared on August 8th, uh, two weeks later, on August 25th, the seller replied that they had sold the POC without disclosing the terms of the deal. <laughs> With all that, I can power my entire army forever! Another member of the hacker group, uh, Hacker Form, indicated that GPU-based malware has been done before, pointing at Jellyfish, a six-year POC, a six-year-old POC for a Linux-based GPU rootkit. In a tweet on Sunday, researchers at VX Underground Threat Repository said that the malicious code enables binary execution by the GPU in its memory space. They also added they will demonstrate the technique in the near future. I'm sure the hacker, whoever bought this thing, is going to try to test it also in the near future. The same researchers behind the Jellyfish Rootkit also published POCs for a GPU-based keylogger and a GPU-based remote access trojan for Windows. All three projects were published in May 2015 have been, and have been publicly available. The seller rejected the association with the Jellyfish malware. It's beneath him. Morty, that's such a poor use of my time. It's beneath me. Saying that their method is different and does not rely on code mapping back to user space. There are no details about the deal, but who bought it and how much they paid. Only the sellers post that they sold the malware to an unknown party. While the reference to the Jellyfish project suggests that GPU-based malware is relatively new, the groundwork for this attack method has been set about uh, roughly eight years ago. In 2013, researchers at the Institute of Computer Science Foundation for Research and Technology, otherwise known as FORTH, in Greece and at Columbia University in New York showed that GPUs can host the operation of a keylogger and store the captured keystrokes in its memory space. Previously, the researchers demonstrated that malware authors can take advantage of the GPU's computational power to pack the code with very complex encryption schemes much faster than the CPU can. Now, way back in 2015 uh, is when we saw the Jellyfish GPU uh, rootkit project launch, and back then, Intel analyzed the proof of concept, and they concluded GPU malware is nothing to panic about yet. We now see how the space is evolving and expanding, and with this sale, we can expect attacks of this nature to increase. And perhaps, up to this point, we had no security measures or checks in place. So... Go through your security plan, review your hardware and software, since this only affects Windows machines so far, uh, look at your maintenance and your test landscape to, one, see if this affects you, and two, to make any necessary changes in your processes to cover these types of malware attacks. So, with that, thanks again for watching. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already, and smash the bell if you haven't already to be updated when I upload my next episode. Take care, and I'll see you on the next episode. Get to ride! Farewell!